Hello everyone, my name is Ritesh Gupta and you're watching the Pen Tester Guy. This is the day 3 of CH Practical Tutorial and today we'll be discussing on the topic that is traffic sniffing. So I'm completing this complete playlist in 6 parts from day 1 to day 6 and uh, respectively from scanning to enumeration to traffic is sniffing and today is the day 3 that is traffic is sniffing and after that I'll be following up with stenographic cryptography and hacking web application and Android. So today we'll be looking for the PCAP analysis of the file using the tool that is Wireshark and this tutorial is not about telling you that what actually is Wireshark tool, what are the interfaces, it's your, um, so it's a prerequisite from your end that you are familiar with the tool Wireshark. In this tutorial we'll be looking for analyzing the PCAP files and during the analysis of the PCAP files we'll be looking for some major points that is filtering packets following up the streams either it is tcp or http or any other stream that represent during the conversation of the pcap file and uh, following up with finding the files either it could be text files or any other file that is present or being transferred uh, during the conversation from source to destination we'll be also looking the detailed structure of the file and after that we'll be looking for the comments into the captured packets and we will also be looking at how we can search for any strings or a specific text in a captured file. So after covering the basics, we'll be looking with a real world DOS attack file as a demo and uh, we'll be looking at uh, how we can navigate that, uh, what are the IPs that are responsible for DOS or DDoS attacks. As a prerequisite, I also assume that you are aware about what is DOS or DDoS attack, uh, but uh, nevertheless, I'll be uh, summarizing it as uh, suppose there is a server and you are making a request, right? So if you are making a number of requests which server is not able to handle with a single source point, then it is a DOS attack. And, and if you are using multiple source point to do the same thing, then it is known as distributed denial of service. So what actually happens during a DOS attack is uh, you you do a ping to a server, right? So when you do a, there is a TCP handshake, three-way handshake. So what actually we do? We give a send packet to the server saying uh, about uh, is there is there someone present? So server gives a response that okay yes, I am there who is responding you. So we get a send act, but we never send an acknowledgement packet to server so that the server is not able to you know um, complete the TCP three-way handshake or the three-way handshake is not established. So you again send the SYN packet and you get a SYN act but you don't send the act. So you continuously do it for a number of times and the server is not able to you know respond to other connections which are legitimate or wanted to connect with the server. So in this way you do a DOS attack and we when you use multiple uh, devices to do it either you are using botnet or you are using any program to do so. Uh, so in that situation also, what you do is you send this send packet to the uh, target or the victim and you get a send act but you never send the act packet. So this is what we can say uh, denial of service in a nutshell. So uh, it's a practical time. Uh, let's get started. So, uh, so this is the Wireshark tool. I've installed it in my uh, windows distro you can install it in either your kali linux or uh, windows and follow along with me so for the demonstration purpose i have downloaded two files and for the initial part or the basic part i am using the shark1.pk uh, file so this is how what you this is what you see actually when you and when you start analyzing any pcap file where you get to know about the source and destination IP addresses, the protocol that is being uh, utilized with each packet. And I'm not going to cover each and everything. It's uh, it's a prerequisite that you go and make yourself familiar with uh, this Wireshark tool. And uh, you can use the TriHackMe uh, platform because I guess there is one free uh, room so that it will be more than enough for you to understand what actually a Wireshark tool is and what the GUI is all about. Our main motto for this scenario is to uh, do filtering of the packets, finding the txt files if there is any txt file present or not, uh, following up the streams, finding the comments and searching uh, strings. So first of all, let me tell you that uh, how you can filter or how filtering can be done. So when we do a sin, uh, when we do a DOS attack or when DOS attack happens, what I told you that uh, we generally do a sin 
request and then we get a synac but we never send the acknowledgement request so uh, we'll we'll uh, do a filter for the sin packets so tcp dot flags dot sin so when you give a right command then the background will change to green but when there will be an issue with the command then it will automatically change to red so it will be very you know uh, informative or kind of handy for you to know that whether you are doing something right or not so we are filtering this in packet and the protocol that is being used is tcp so tcp dot flags dot send and equal equals to one and we'll hit enter then we get to know that out of 987 packets uh, we have uh, dis uh, we have 16 packets uh, that is displayed using this filter okay so these are the requests we can see that sin is the request from source to destination synac sin 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 synac so this is what we do uh, when we do our dos attack but we never get a uh, acknowledgement request so this is kind this is just for telling that how you can filter different uh, packets you can simply give http as well then uh, all the all the uh, packets using the http protocol will be displayed and similarly you can display uh, according to the situation or according to the uh, scenario what the question is asking but for now the main concern was telling you that how you can uh, filter packets after that uh, there is a scenario of streams suppose we we select some packet like this one packet number two and just hit a right click on it and you will see an option of follow then for after that you will see an option of following the tcp stream or http stream so whatever the stream is being utilized the uh, grayed out item will be enabled so for this scenario we'll be following the http streams to demonstrate you okay so it is i hope now it is visible yes uh it is visible so when we follow our tcp stream or http stream we get to know what actual conversation is happening and the red part displays that it's we we are requesting and the blue part displays that it is the response from the server or our target so we have seen a http stream and uh, this way you can uh, follow up the http stream so now we'll be uh, giving a follow up of uh, tcp stream so let me clear the filter and uh, we'll again give a right click on a packet and we'll give a follow up for tcp stream let me zoom it so as i already told you that the red part is something that we are sending and the blue part is a response from the server so for this uh, specific packet we we give a follow up stream and we saw the conversation uh, and this is happening by combining different packets at a time now when you want to switch to another stream or just move forward with other stream you come to the bottom right corner and here you will see an option of stream and you see a number using the arrow you can just toggle so i'll be following the another stream that is stream number one after stream number two so we get some details and uh, uh, you give a nice walkthrough or keep attention on what actually the data is being sent and you'll be able to get something fruitful in response and in for this demonstration scenario uh, i'll be again following up with the uh, stream number two and stream number three stream number four and five since in the stream number five we got to know that there is some flag that is pre present over here and it is actually a rot 13 uh, algorithm used to you, you know cipher the actual text so we can decipher it using the rot 13 algorithm but uh, we are not going to do so in this because it will not be required during your exam as well uh, so um, the main motto was to show you that how you can uh, follow up a stream either it is a tcp or http uh, you in the exam you have to navigate on your own situation but this will be the only option that you'll be opting for like for http or uh, for uh, ftp so you will get your flag and you can submit it after that uh, we were uh, uh, curious about is there any uh, is there any text file present uh, in this or we can see in the complete conversation are we able to see any text file so for that also what uh, we must do or uh, we can do is uh, we can go to file option after that we can navigate to export object 
and after that it depends on your situation but in this scenario or for text file you have to export object of http and when you export an object of http uh, you can filter it using in the content time option and uh, double clicking on that you get to know that there is a text file which is named as instant action and you can save it you can uh, save it using the save button and i'll be saving it on my desktop and let's see whether we have something in it or not and uh, uh, we have nothing in it but uh, in your scenario you'll be having some flag and you can use that flag to submit it and uh, uh, solve a lab or a question so in this way you can uh, uh, filter out or you can uh, check that whether there is any text file or not and you can get your flag from that file so uh, this is done as well we have seen about the tcp following up the tcp streams we have seen about filtering the packets we have seen uh, the whether we can find a text file or not now now we will see about the comments regarding this conversation or the packet file so there are different options but i will suggest you to uh, go to the select a file and go to the bottom uh, left corner then uh, here you will see an option to open the file properties just click on it and let me zoom it uh, I wish now it is visible so there will be some comments regarding this uh, captured uh, file so there will be a captured file comment and that uh, uh, might come handy for you uh, during the exam or in the real world as well uh, since it is a demo uh, for the basics one so there is no uh, comments related to this file you can practice it using the try hack me lab there you will get to know much more about the comments and the uh, following up tcp or http streams so while uh, checking the properties uh, you get to know about the hash of the packet the sha1 hash and the sha256 hash and other um, properties as well okay so in this way you can check for the comments of uh, the captured packets after that we also wanted to do a search for any specific strings in the entire conversation if we want to find that uh, whether some string or something related to uh, specific rejects is present or not so we can do it or we can search it by hotkeys that is control f and uh, control f and then uh, we'll get an option regarding to the uh, specific string that we want to search and it could be case sensitive as well you can uh, narrow down your search or according to the situation or according to the scenario but here uh, suppose we want to search for something like uh, and we get to know that in this specific packet it indicated the same thing so this is how we can find a specific string uh, into the captured file conversation so our motto for the basic thing that is filtering packet we saw that how we can filter packets we saw that how to follow up our streams either tcp or http we also saw that how we can extract a file or export a file from the entire conversation or the pcap file after that we saw that how we can uh, uh, see the comments of the file and we also saw that how we can search a specific string uh, into the entire conversation or the pcap file so we are done with the basics now uh, now the main thing is dos attack and ddos attack and for that uh, i'll be using another file that is a file that is a real world example of dos attack um, this one okay okay so this is a file that we are going to use and i'll be telling you a uh, few important things that you should do an instant follow-up when you open a file or if there is a query regarding that what are the ips that are associated for a dos or ddos attack uh, so how you can navigate it so we first of all we can see that uh, uh, in the complete conversation we see only a synac synac uh, uh, majorly a synac uh, uh, packet request so from a different ip to the same uh, de so destination ip from the same 
from the different sources to the same destination filtering out different ips that are performing these attacks we are supposed to go into this uh, statistics section and uh, after that we'll go for uh, conversations so when we go for conversation let me zoom it so let, uh, when we go for conversation we will opt for ipv4 uh, conversation and in this what we see is there is a source ip address and a destination ip address and there are a number of uh, source ip address which are hitting a request to the destination ip address right now uh, when when some uh, dos attack happens then what ha actually happens is uh, they it, a large amount of icmp ping is uh, happened uh, like multiple times right so uh, what you can do is you can filter it by uh, using the byte section and when you will double click on it you will see that maximum number of bytes that is being sent from some uh, source ips since it is a scenario for the DO ddos attack so it is using multiple ips uh, for the uh, same uh, destination ip and in your scenario it might happen that you only see uh, 5 to 10 ips and among that you have to filter out that what are the ips which are responsible for dos or ddos so uh, suppose in this scenario we we counter we assume that uh, we have packets from uh, top 20 like uh, these number of ip address suppose what are the ips responsible for doing such uh, dos or ddos attacks so we can see that uh, okay uh, these number of bytes are being sent it is the most uh, uh, among all so uh, maybe the, they are responsible for, for doing the DOS and for the DDoS we can cumulative see that what are the IPs which have sent large number of requests to the source, uh, large number of requests uh, to the destination uh, according to that we can filter and we can assume that uh, uh, these IPs are responsible for DDoS so uh, so that's that's all about it this is how you can do it there is another option for ipv6 as well but uh, there was no ipv6 address ipv4 was only responsible for doing so so we have filtered in this way and you have to do it in the same way and you'll be able to you know and you'll be able to uh, get what is desired and if you are not able to get exactly there is uh, there is an option for submitting like four to five times so maybe you can give a hit and try if you are not able to get exactly uh, or understand at that uh, scenario because of course you are giving exam maybe because of time or some other situation you uh, can panic but uh, uh, don't panic it's a very easy exam you can uh, clear it in a single go without any hesitation or without, without any tension so so let me summarize that what uh, actually we uh, did so we did the basics like filtering uh, following up the streams and finding files with comments and searching for strings after that we saw that uh, how we can check for uh, what is ddos and what is dos attack actually look like and how we can filter ips that are responsible for doing these attacks if we get any pcap file in a real life scenario so that's all uh, about this video thank you so much keep supporting keep sharing my channel if you know someone who is also preparing for the same exam do share my playlist to them do share my uh, efforts to other people i'm giving back to community and i'm also helping others to grow as well so let's grow together thank you so much we'll be back with another video